So I'm, I'm Lizzie and I have been doing origami paper folding for maybe about eight or nine years. I was taught how to make beautiful flowers by someone who was in hospital, so someone who wasn't very well and she learnt how to do this and she found it made her really happy and it's made me really happy to be able to make lovely beautiful things to give to people and hopefully I'm sure you've all made things like paper aeroplanes and I saw Ethan had a nice fortune teller um, so we can make amazing things out of paper and it's a really lovely thing that we can do together and we'll make our own special happy memories and you'll learn something new and maybe you can share them with your family and maybe you can encourage other people as well. So what I want to do? I've never made a paper aeroplane before. Haven't, haven't you? Mm. You don't know how to make one. Would you like to? <laughs> Actually, that's something I haven't often made, but we could, we could maybe make one as well. Shall we see how we get on? Yeah, paper aeroplanes are great things to make. They're quite simple. So if you all grab yourself a piece of paper, I'll grab yourself a piece of paper. I'm going to show you hopefully to do a few things. That's great. So I'm going to direct the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And you can always speak up if things aren't, you know, if things aren't working, you need some help, do so. So first of all, we're just going to halve our piece of paper. So just fold it in half. Corner to corner. Now with origami, just go nice and slowly. Be really patient with yourself. That's what it's all about. Be nice and exact. And if you give a good strong fold, if you have a nail, use it. If you don't, don't worry, just press down. And if you give it a good strong hard fold, it means that you'll be able to tear it quite easily. Which way are you supposed to fold it? Ah, oh, we're just going to fold it in half. That's all. We're just going to halve our piece of paper. Can you see? So I just halved it over. Yeah, great. That's it. Right. Next point for making making it um, cut it in half is putting it down on your board or table. And if you make a tiny, tiny little nick there, like that, then you should. But keep it flat. You should be able to just tear it in half then, like that. So we'll keep the other half and we'll do something in a moment with that as well. So you should have a piece of paper like this. And we're here together as a group, so I will wait for you and I will help. And we're all doing it together. We can imagine we're around a big table, a big group and a room. <laughs> this is how we're having to do it. Great. Are you, you all got great? I can see that. Excellent. Excellent. Brilliant. Lovely. That's fantastic. Well done. Right, we're going to make a square next. I can't I'm... do it. Um, it's, it's kind of tearing apart. Is it? Well, actually, what you can do is just, just use any sheet of paper. You could, you, you could make one that's bigger. So if it's not working... Um, can we use scissors? If you want to, of course you can. So, doesn't matter what size piece of paper. So when you're ready, what we're going to do next is make a square. Look from there. <laughs> so to make a square, oh, Erica, yeah, you can maybe rip it in half, but do it on a surface. So it's, that's it. Oh, well done, Kayla. Excellent. It's great, isn't it? We can see each other. Then we can see how it's going. Oh, well done, Ethan, Emily. Brilliant. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Right. You will get the hang of it, I promise. It's about being patient and kind. So take, we're gonna make a square. So to make a square, take the corner and line it up. Can you see, I'm lining it up. So it's a nice straight line and it will go through the corner there. Like so. Can you see? So, that's right, be nice to that. Well done. Oh, well done, Kayla. I can see that. Very good. Very good. Yep. I remember we're all learning. So how are you doing? Yep. Brilliant. Excellent. So our next step is we're going to, we need to get rid of this rectangle. So if you turn it over and then if you pull back and line it up, it looks like a Robin Hood's hat now. Looks like a little hat. Let's see, it looks like that. 
all we're doing is making a square we're not actually onto our origami yet but this will help and then you should be able to tear you could use scissors but if you've done a good strong fold you should be able to just rip it off so if you're going to do a little tiny nick and then you should be able to tear it but definitely keep it on a flat surface that's it so it should look like this it should look like an excellent well done erica it should look like a yeah excellent Taylor. And i was hoping Ting. um actually i was hoping Ting. so i didn't really see that part um ah, yes so if you had your piece of paper like this Wait, um, and if you take the corner and you line it all up whoops line it all up so it's yeah um i did that part. you did that great then you turn it to the back and if you i do it on the surface definitely let me show you so if you've done it on that side so it's like that turn it over and then pull back can you see and you're lining that up so it's very kind of you helping your your brother there it's a team effort isn't it that's it and then folding it there nice and exact and then you should be able to tear that off this is how you do it um because i'm kind of that's it that's it yep that's it and then you should be able to tear that off if you wanted to you could use scissors but if it's a good if it's a good strong fold you should be able to just tear it off like that to do it again <laughs> that's it because we're all doing it together aren't we is it like this that's it well done brilliant hurrah success okay we've got our we've got a lovely triangle so open it up can you see set the folds on the inside there lovely what we're going to do, and you're, I'm showing it in the air because it's quite nice to be able to show you and, and so you can see me, but you'll probably find it easier if you press down on the surface, so I would recommend that. So what we're going to do is fold it in half, the other diagonal, but I just want you to pinch in the middle. Just pinch at the top, that's all you're doing, and it's just so that you give a nice little halfway line. So it was like that, I just folded it over. And again, take your time, line things up nicely. Be patient and kind with yourself. That's it. Excellent. You see Jeremy just saying. Oh. Um, so is it like a little pinch? Like, is, right. is it not like a pinch? Is, is it like a little pinch? Or? It's a little pinch. Can we just yeah. like let it be a little cut? Play point. Is it? Is it like a little cut? No cuts, no cuts now. No, it's just folding. <laughs> Put the scissors down. <laughs> That's right. We're just folding now. Oh, yes. Um, got your hand up. Did you want to unmute yourself? iPhone. I've got, yes. Did you want um, to do something? I, I haven't start. I haven't start on my... I haven't started to my design yet. Ah, so we need to make a square. So to do that, get get your piece of paper, and we'll ju I'll just show you how to do it simply from the one that you've got. Simply take the corner and fold it over like that. So you're lining uh, it up. I haven't done okay. it yet. That's okay. Line that up, and once you've done that, you're all going to be experts. You could always be making, you know, no, don't, don't worry. Just wait for a moment. We will all soon get get going together. Then you need to get rid of this rectangle. So if you turn it over, pull it back, um, and fold. Have you got someone there who can help you with the square? Mm -hmm. tearing off um, actually, I don't know how to do it. I just don't know how to do it. How to do it? It looks like you're... Oh, where are you? That's good. 
Tim, you've got Chad. it right, Timmy. Yeah, you've Timmy, got it good. Say, it looks yeah. great. It's yeah. great. Um, do you tear it? No, don't tear no, no. it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, you're getting rid of the rectangle. Yeah, you can either tear it or cut it. That's fine. Well done. You are catching up, aren't you? Well done. So if you have that main line going up and down there, and what we did was we pinched it over, didn't we? We just pinched it there. Right, are we all ready for the next step? You've been so patient, thank you. So if you take the top and fold it into the middle. And remember, your children, you've got great imagination. So if things don't work out, you can make it something else, can't you? You can decorate it and make it something pretty cool. So really don't worry. The main thing is that we enjoy it together. That's it. That's it. So we've done the top to that middle point. Lovely. Excellent. Right, now take the bottom bit and fold it all the way up to the top and keep it in the middle there. Can you see? So it was down here and I brought it all the way up to the top in the middle like so and we're not far off this is a really good one I'm keeping things a surprise I know my colleague Zule will know exactly what this is <laughs> and did I do did we do it right that's it that's you're it. doing great excellent well done this sale, though. Yeah. Oh, it's a guess. No, it's not, but we'll find out what it is. Lovely. So we've got it all the same way up. So if you have a wider bit at the bottom, so we've all got it the same way up. And if you take the side and fold it up in a straight line. Is it inside or is it outside? So it looks it's like this. Part. I can't see properly. So what happened was we had it as a square and I brought that down to the middle line, the top, and then up. I think most of you got it. And as I said, you know what? If things aren't working, don't worry about no, that's it. That's not helpful. Make it into something else. <laughs> right. And then so if you take the side and fold it up in a straight line. Don't know if you can start to guess what this might be. And in just a moment, it'll be really obvious, I think. That's it. And then the other side, if you take the other side. A letterbox? Is it like a letterbox? Ooh, it's a good guess. No, it would be a nice thing to put in a letterbox, though, to send to someone. I don't get it. I don't get it. So it was down there. Was it that shape? <laughs> Did it look like that? Ah, it looks slightly different. Can you show it? That's it. Yep, keep it the size that you've got it. That's right. No, that's correct. I think you've done it correct. So bring it up in a straight line. Kayla, you've done that. And then the other side, do the same thing. And it should be looking like that. Can you guess what we're making? <laughs> oh, Cheslin? Um, are the tops, are they meant to be the same height? About, but don't worry if they're not. So I know it's a, it is. Do you know what it is? <laughs> oh, could it's be a heart. At the moment, it looks a bit pixelated, so let's soften it. So if you get the top bat. and just it looks, tie it, it looks like a bat. A bat. Oh, yes. So the, the very top points you can fold back just to soften it a bit, makes it a bit more of a friendly heart. That's right. And the sides, you can also do the same. Zule, a heart she made earlier, or maybe just made now. Oh, that's beautiful. You're very good at making bags. You're doing great. But Ellen, it's just that I, I was helping my brother, but I can't um, kind of, um, it's just, I don't, I, just, I don't know what to do. How You're do doing great. Don't, don't worry. It's a bit hard because oh, oh, I'm not kids. able to. Sorry, Lizzie. Okay, what we're going to do is that we're recording the session 
we're going to send this video to your parents so they'll play it for you and you can practice on your own. Uh, we've only got 15 minutes left, so we need to let Lizzie actually teach us a, a few more things. That's a good idea. Oh. And also, I can, we can send you a link with the videos that I've been doing, so it'll probably yeah. be clearer yeah. as well. Yeah. That's a really so, good so idea. We'll send you the link to this one and then to more videos from uh, Lizzie, so you'll be able to do it on your own. So yeah. please, let's just listen. If you don't get it, just don't work worry. on And um, yeah, it's not to worry. You've done brilliantly. You yeah. should feel proud of yourselves. You're, you're trying something new. You're doing great. It's beautiful. I can see all your hearts. Right, let's try something else. So I'm going to show you a nice simple one next. Yes, well done. So we can put that down for now. Our next one we're going to do, you've probably already got another piece of paper, haven't you? Or... Just get another piece of paper. You can either have it as a whole piece of paper. Is this or it? Is this it? That's it. You made your heart. You did great. Yeah, that looks great. So I think you've already got another half piece of paper. So I'm just catching up with you. And you can use a whole piece of paper as well. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what paper you have. But a piece of paper. And we're going to make another square. You're going to find this easier after a while. It's hard the first time, but it gets easier. So if you take a little corner, and if you fold it in a straight line, and we're again making another square. So this will get easier with time. So taking the side, and then lining it up, being nice and exact. But it'll all work anyway. These are nice, simple designs, so... I'm pretty confident it'll work for you. That's it. Great. Now we need to get rid of the rectangle again, don't we? So if we turn it over and then pull it back, line it up, we're just wanting to make a square. That's it. And again, good strong fold. You should be able to rip it off, do it on the solid surface. Or you could cut it. Tearing is actually very accurate. So if you've done a good strong fold, you should be able to do that. Right. Have you all got your triangle again? It'll get more familiar with time. The thing is with origami, it's practice. So it gets easier and easier. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Actually, if you turn it so that the pointy bit's at the top. Lovely. You've got your pointy bit. Right. If you imagine that these points are like arms, like my arms out here. What you're going to do is take one arm and you're going to put one on the shoulder, one on the other shoulder. But we're going to do that on the paper. So imagine this is your arm and this is your arm. So you're going to put one arm up here onto the shoulder and the other arm up here onto the other shoulder. And you want them to sort of touch. That's it. Chiseling. And if you do it so that they sort of line up, can you see? I'm playing with them until they all line up well. And it's pretty much so it's horizontal, so it's flat. So I took those sides and I brought one up here. And as I said, it would be touching just the edge of the paper and it's probably quite flat. You know what this is. <laughs> Excellent. Keep it a secret, it makes it even more exciting. That's it, that's it. Have you made this before? <laughs> excellent, excellent. This is nice. To be honest, it's the simplest piece of origami I know, and you can actually use it, which is great fun. So you've got these two flaps at the top. Top flap, bring down that front one. So it's up here, and bring it down like so, lovely. And then the back one, you bring back there, like so. And that is actually it. This is a wonderful little cup. So you could use it as, as a little wallet to keep things in, you can decorate it. Or you could even put water in it and have one drink, only cold water, and it will obviously go soggy at some point, but you'd actually be able to use it a little bit. So you could either use this as your special little cup, you can test it out later, or you can decorate it and keep things in it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'll keep your pens in. Little organiser, and they're nice to decorate too. So that's our second fold, and I think we could do something else too. Should we do something else? 
yeah, you're gonna have a nice little collection. So you've got a heart, you've got, you've got a nice little cup. Right. Yeah, we could do another good one, couldn't we? So again, piece of paper is getting easier, isn't it? Because you're getting more practice. So your piece of paper, we're gonna have to make a square again, but you're getting good practice. So again, take your piece of paper, whatever size it is, it doesn't matter. And again, taking the corner, lining it all up like so. Here we go. Okay, you're hopefully getting the hang of this, and this will stand you a good stead for making many more origami things if you wish to. If you're finding this fun, I think the great fun is decorating these things too. So maybe you can decorate them, send pictures to your church as well. Lovely. So again, getting rid of this rectangle, turn it over, bring it back, keep it in a nice little straight line. There we go. And uh, there we go. And we've got this rectangle here, again, tearing that off. So we'll, be se we'll send you through your church a link so you there's lots more videos. And also, I was just saying, I, through this time of lockdown, I found that there's someone else who's doing lots of origami in Nigeria. And it sounds like lots of your families will be from Nigeria. And it's been amazing. I've done some workshops in Nigeria through Zoom as well. And there's someone there who's doing amazing origami. So he might be, it might be quite nice for you to see the work in Africa as well. Yeah, so he's bringing the fun through origami as well for all ages as well. So it should look like this. Yeah. So I will bring it down again so that you can see what I'm doing. So if it's opened up, if you turn it over so that this ridge is on the top, it's already looking quite nice. And what I want you to do is do make sure there's the ridge at this sticking up on this way. Yep. And we're going to do a horizontal and a vertical. So folding it over this way. And it sounds like you'll be getting this video as well. So you'll be able to look back at how to do this. So don't worry if you're not following it at this moment. That's it. So you've done it that way. And then do it the other way. And actually, I only learnt this one from uh, Alo Watobi, this person there who's in Nigeria. And I really like these, so I think of him. So I've been making friends there as well. It's been really nice. So it should look like that. Is that looking like that for you? Lovely. I can see that. Emily? Brilliant, Jeremy. Lovely. Great. So you should have on these blank squares, I want you to take the corner and fold it into the middle. So folding it into the middle just on those blank squares. And again, this one's got no lines on it. So again, I'm folding it into the middle. And again, be nice and exact. So it's easier on a solid surface, which is why I've got the camera down here. So it should look something like that. You know this one too. <laughs> I need to be. <laughs> I th oh, is it me who's the host? Am I the host? Oh. Yes, you're co-host, Lisa. Oh, <laughs> they, they understand it more than I do. It's great. Oh, excellent. So, or were you wanting to be unmuted? Um, um, Tammy does We don't have any more pieces of paper. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh, minute, can you get your dad or mom to please get you some more pieces of paper, okay? Yeah, Thank and you, could, you could even use, maybe not now, but you could even use it for those old magazines, newspapers, so you should, I'm sure you'd have some paper, but definitely check with your parents first in case, in case you're using paper that, that they wouldn't be happy with. And you'll have this video, so you'll be able to come back to it, so don't worry, just enjoy it as well. So at the moment, it should look like this. What I want you to do is keep these little flaps tucked in 
and I want you to push up the sides and they should easily, hopefully fairly easily, start doing that. Can you see? So it was like this and I kept those little flaps in and I pushed up the sides and it forms this nice little shape. That's it. Excellent. Jeremy Jeslin, well done. Has that worked for you? Looking slightly off there, but who cares? It's all right. Yes, that's it. You need to kind of flatten it as well. That's it. That's a bit better on that side. <laughs> that's it. Excellent. Well done. Is that working for you? Lovely. This is a nice little symbolic one as well, I think. It's lovely. Great. Has it worked? Are you... Does anybody need any help? Is it working? Excellent, excellent. And some help from parents. Oh, looks like you're in the heart, Erica. Oh, yeah, sorry. Are you wanting some help? Yes. Oh, I've tried to unmute you. Uh, sorry, I think we're probably... Uh, <laughs> we keep on unmuting at the same time. That's it. Oh, sorry. Right, I will not touch it. Have a go at unmuting. I think each time I do it. No. Yes. We what would you like to say? It's kind of, we need help a bit. Can you hold up what you've made so far? Um, sure. sure. We only this. Only this. That's it. That's it. Ah. Oh. Is this the heart or no, no, this is what you've been doing. Great. Yeah, yeah, you've got it. It will work. So it looks like this, doesn't it? Yeah. So keep those little flaps in the inside and then push up the side. Ah, I wonder whether your whether that line is going the wrong way around. That might be it. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, so. which is why it's all about the direction of those folds. So if you fold, if you do that fold the other way, it will help you fold it up. We'll do it when we get the video. Yeah. So if you just, um, yeah, just do that line the opposite way, the fold, and then it should work. Oh, sorry, Jeremy and Jocelyn, trying to, yes. I know what we're doing. Do you know what this is going to be? Hurrah. Keep it a secret. <laughs> She's made a collection. Have you? Wow, have you got a whole origami collection? Well, I've made origami before. Fantastic. You can keep going. There's so many things you can make. You will never run out of new things to try. Yeah. It's a great thing to do. Yeah, it gets easier with age, doesn't it? The younger you are, the harder this is, but it's also very good for you. If you can do this, you can do anything, I reckon. That's it. Oh, Anne and Albert, have you got something that you wanted to say? Oh, trying to unmute you. Don't know whether, don't seem to be able to unmute you. Sorry. Not quite sure why I can't unmute you. There's maybe, ah, oh, that's it. Yes? Yes, I can't do it. So you'll be able to look back at the video and you'll be able to figure it out. Yeah? Okay. Oh. Yeah? So also with what you've made so far, you can make it into something else. So really don't worry. Yeah? Just enjoy what you've made and you'll be able to know that you can look back at it. Oh, so I'm going to make sure that we finish this because we're quite close. So, and everyone's wanted to speak, which is so lovely. But shall we just finish this off and then we'll have done it in the half hour because we should probably keep it in the half hour. Okay, so hopefully it looks like this. As I said, if it's not working for you, don't worry. You can look back at the video or be creative and do something with whatever it is that you've made so far. So this bottom, I want you to fold up to the, that middle line. I know it feels quite thick. So many steps. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, so I I couldn't do it. Uh, I, I tried yeah. to do it. I think you'll have to look back at the at the video because it would it would be a bit too hard to do it all now. But know that you will get there. You know what origami is about being like you you will stick with it you will get there and you just have to be super patient it will be worth it 
So you've hopefully folded that. I think you're guessing already what it is. If you turn to the other side and take one of these sails, it's a boat, isn't it? If you if you fold one of these down all the way in a straight line, then you can do like another little fold up. So it's like a little tiny top. Can you see? So it's down. And I've done a little top. And the reason I'm doing that is just to make the sail slightly different sizes from each other. Can you see? And what you'll find is there's actually excellent. There's actually a little pocket in there. So open up the pocket and you can shove that little folded bit in. So no one will ever know how you did it. It can be, yeah. Just then. I unmute you if I can. What part did you put in, like, the place where you can put in stuff? Sorry, what? Where did, what did you put inside the stuff? Ah, so there's a little pocket inside there. So we did that little tuck. Oh, like this? Yeah, and inside here, it's, it's almost like a pocket, so you can shove that in there. And basically, you can't then tell how you've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, Daniel's been busy too. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, you should have a little boat, and it's even got a little stand. So, you should be able to even stand up your boat. So, I hope, and don't worry if you haven't made them all, it can be something to work up to. So, I hope you've made a, you may have made a boat. We say you had to make a boat, a heart. And a cup. How cool is that? So we've done loads. Actually, we'll get a bigger heart. We need a nice big cup. And I wonder, actually, with your pieces, if you can decorate them as well. So I wonder if I could take a photograph just of the things you've made to only your hands. So if you can get out of the way of the camera and just hold up a heart or a boat or whatever it is that you'd like. And or you can. You could completely cover up your face, but I think so that you can't. Ideally, so that you can. What do you think, Daniel? Can you can you help or explain? So yes, what... I, should be able to, I think we should try to cover our faces and things. Oh, that's a good idea. So we do it like that. Yeah. So we're anonymous, but we've got our. Do you think we could all do that? So, Kayla, you need to get it completely across your face so that we can't see your face. We're gonna, these are going to be like our masks. So we don't want to see any faces. That's it. And if we just have your... Oh, that's good. I like how you've... Erica, you've got, you've got them as interesting eyes. So, Heramind, if you can put something in front of your face, like the thing that you've made. Uh, yeah? Can you all do that? What do you think, Daniel? 